Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video for you because I'm going to show you the plants that I have, give you a little plant tour, give a little plant advice. I'm still a plant newbie, new to the plant community. I've been watching a ton of other YouTubers plant videos. I will leave a couple of my favorites down below in the description, but I've collected some house plants and they, yeah, they're definitely a new addiction for me. So I did a quiz or like a poll on Instagram and majority of you said that you wanted to see my plants and I get a lot of questions about my plants. So I figured I'd go through what I have right now. And I say right now because it's probably going to grow once I build shelves, um, put shelves up on my wall by my bed. I'm still redoing my room. So right now my plants are kind of all over the place. They might not be in their final home and it's definitely a growing collection. So if you like this video, definitely remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos if you haven't already subscribed and thank you for returning if you are a returning subscriber. Press that notification bell down below to be reminded every time I post a new video and without further ado, let's get into it. So one of the first house plants I ever got, I don't know if it's one of the first, but it, yeah, it's one of the earlier house plants I got and it is the Peace Lily. This guy is a great low light house plant. Um, it doesn't need too much light and you just want to make sure it doesn't get like oversaturated in water. But when I got it, it had the white flowers, like the blooms. It hasn't bloomed since, and I've heard that it's actually like really hard to get it to bloom again unless you have a certain fertilizer. So I, I don't know, I'm just praying that it'll bloom again, but it's producing some new leaves, so that's good. Um, and then over here I have some ivy, and this I bought as like a little four inch pot. So it's starting to grow out of the pot and it'll creep down. These are uh, pretty easy to propagate as well. You're just gonna cut them by the node. And yeah, this started as like a little baby, but it's definitely growing. It's like a slower grow or plant, if that makes any sense. But I have it in just like this macrame hanger because they don't want to be in too direct of a light, but they want to be hit by the light. Um, another plant over here is actually not my plant. What this for my boyfriend. And it's, I think it's a type of peperomia. It's like a moon valley. Peperomia, it's really cool. It has like really cool like fuzzy texture to it. It's just in my house right now, but it will be in his house soon. But it looks really cool. It's like a medium light type of plant and it can be repotted once like the roots start coming out of the bottom. Over here, I have a little succulent, little cactus planter thing. It's got like a prickly guy and a little succulent guy. I don't know what they are. Got it from Home Depot. I just liked the container it was in. And hanging over here in like direct sunlight by my window is my asparagus fern. This one's a new one. Um, it gets really bushy over time. Like it really can grow super big and take up a lot of space. But for now it's pretty small and I'm just giving it a lot, a lot of that direct sunlight because that's what it wants and hopefully I can keep this one alive because any kind of ferns I feel like are just so finicky <laughs> and if you guys have any tips leave them in the comments down below about any of the plants that I'm talking about and this tea tastes like food not the tea itself I feel like the cups like taste like food over here next to the asparagus fern I just keep my succulent I don't know the name of this honestly I got it from plants by post and it's gotten a lot bigger it's growing upwards and I like the pot that it's in, but I feel like maybe it probably will need to be repotted. I don't know. Over here, I keep a humidifier and any plants that need a more humid environment, I try to keep them in my room or near the humidifier just to help them out. It's like really important for certain plants to have like a different like humid environment. If you want to come over here, over here, I just have a few more plants. This is my Dracaena plant. I got it also as like a little four inch pot. It was like a little baby. So now it's kind of split into two stalks. And I think it looks really cool. It's a really cool plant. They're pretty easy to take care of as well. This is just another little succulent from Plants by Post that came in a really cute little pot. 
and I have an aloe plant. I've had this for a few years now. It's grown bigger ever since I put it in a bigger pot. I keep it in this clay pot, but I feel like it shouldn't be because it does end up like the clay pots absorb a lot of the water. So I have to water this guy a lot because of the pot that it's in and I feel like it should be in a plastic one. And then over here, I have my Pilea peppermoides. Don't know how to pronounce it, but these are really cool plants. I think that they look really whimsical and cute. And what's really cool about them is they will have like little baby plants that come off of the mother. Like you can see one like right there and you can just cut them off, like separate them by root and they will be a brand new plant. So I have a few of those, which I'll show you in the other room but i think that's it for my bedroom so far like i said i am gonna be putting up shelves by my bed so i'll do like an updated tour plant tour or something like that to show you the shelves for my plants but let's go on to the living room no the bathroom the bathroom in the bathroom i just keep a snake plant and that's just because they're really good like low light plants so it works well in the bathroom purifies the air Snake plants are very, very good air purifiers, like one of the top plants for making your air nice and clean. So I just keep this one in there. This one's from Plants by Post. It's gotten bigger in time, and I'm planning on propagating this one as well. This bamboo plant is actually in my mom's room. I just pulled it out for this video. It's against a wall in my mom's bathroom, so it keeps growing and climbing up the wall. It's a bamboo plant that I've had since 2011. So. It's been alive since then. It's been to a couple different homes and it's stayed pretty happy. It's got a few dead leaves that we need to pull off here, but it's growing new growths and getting taller. And I think it's so cool. And then I have some Kalinkoe. I think I used to call it Kalanko, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's called Kalinkoe. It's in bloom. It's got some dead flowers that I need to just pinch the rest of them off. But this is a cute like succulent like plant to add a lot of color to your house so i have two of them they're both from plants by post as well and then over here i have a zebra plant this is really finicky and i'm trying to find like the best place to keep this because it's a really cool plant it's like super soft and velvety but you never know what it wants, I feel like. It, it likes a humid environment. It doesn't want to be too cold, but it needs some light. So I had it in my bathroom for a while and I thought it was doing pretty good because of like the shower humidity, but then it started drooping and I don't know, I might have to take it out of the clay pot, but it's been doing okay by the window here and I've been just spraying the leaves because some plants, like this plant specifically, would like more humid like sprayed leaves. So I've been doing that, but they still look a little crispy on the outside. So if you have any like plant care advice for a zebra plant, let a girl know. And then over here next to the zebra plant, I am propagating one of the snake plant leaves. So you could just cut that off and stick it in dirt and grow it. I'm, I'll show you where the actual plant to that is in a minute. But let's move on to the windowsill because over here I have one of my newer plants. It's a chenille plant. I fell in love with this just because of these cute little hot pink like caterpillar like blooms that it has. It's actually a new one coming up right here. Really cool and very vibrant. This actually can get pretty big. I got this from a local nursery and they had some of these in like hanging baskets that were huge and like the blooms were just drooping down. Thought it was really cool. And then next to the chenille plant, I have a few of my pileas, um, just the babies growing in some little tiny nursery pots. I will give them away to friends. Um, they're not really supposed to be in such direct light, but it's been pretty dark here the last day or two. So I wanted to give them a little more light than they were getting. Over here, I just have like my seed starting greenhouse kit. This is just for my garden. I have some tomatoes, some lavender, some bachelor's button flowers growing, some lemon balm, some, I forget what I wrote because it's literally wearing off. I know I have baby's breath and peppers and sunflowers that are going crazy right here. So I probably need to take these 
out and put them in a smaller pot just until they're ready to go outside. And over here is my snake plant. <laughs> this is like, I have like seven snake plants, but I really like them. This is the biggest snake plant that I have. It just so happens to cover this really well. And it gets a lot of um, light from my front door. When my front door is open, a lot of light will hit it. So even though they are low light plants, I feel like they do benefit from having a little bit of light. So it gets that like afternoon sunset light and it's really happy. So it keeps getting taller and taller. And snake plants really, like I said, very low maintenance. You can forget about them and they'll still thrive. Roxy. Sit. Speak. Sit. Speak. Cry. Cry. Speak. Toy fives. Hanging over my TV, I have a pothos. This is a golden pothos plant. And this is like a very forgettable location for us in this house. Like we put a plant here and we'll, it'll always die because we for, we don't like think to, um, to check it when it's over the TV for a little reason. I don't know why, but a helpful tool to have if you have house plants, I would definitely recommend getting like a moisture meter. This one's from Dr. Meter. I'll leave it linked down below in the description if you're interested in this. Best purchase I've ever made for all my house plants. You just stick it in to the root level and it'll tell you if it's dry, moist, or wet. So this one is actually perfect. So it, the soil level, like the moisture level in the soil is perfect for it. Once you get to wet, you wanna leave it alone. Like you don't want it to sit wet for too long to get root rot and dry obviously it needs to be watered, but some plants like it dry. So you just need to do your research about your house plants, but this is definitely a great tool. And this is a fairly new pothos plant. So it will get bigger and start to look more like this one. This is, I think it's also a golden pothos. I'm not quite sure. It's actually my mom's. She's had it for a little while. It's very, very long now. It's been, oh my God. What? <laughs> Did you see that? All right, well, I guess this is getting propagated. I didn't even know. It looks alive still. It was apparently separated or I just broke it, but Pothos is the easiest plant to propagate. Just cut the nodes right there. Make sure it's like you're cutting right above the node so that a new leaf can pop out or it could root from there. And you wanna get a leaf on there as well. But this guy has been around for a while. It really likes this spot because it gets a lot of the afternoon sunlight. I can't believe I just have it. <laughs> Over here on this, over here on this half wall, we have a peperomia. This is a new one as well. And it's pretty long. I'm definitely gonna be putting this on my shelf in my room because I think it'll look cool hanging down. These make good hanging baskets as well. They're very succulent like leaves. And the tendrils, like the little arms that shoot out have the coolest texture to them. I think that they're such a cool plant. Next to it, I'm propagating a few things. So I have little spider plant babies. You just stick them right in the soil. Hopefully they will grow. I have some pothos and philodendron in some water trying to root. And what was this thing called? A rubber plant? Yeah, the rubber plant is trying to root as well. And then just like an, another snake plant over here and this is the one that i'm propagating just because i really like the lime green outline to this i think it's a really cool plant and i want to like have more of it slash share it with people on the kitchen counter i will propagate things as well but it can fill up really fast so right now i just have more of the rubber plant uh, i'm just trying to propagate in there i've never tried that before but hopefully it will grow pray for me follow me over here now i'm gonna show you the ones that are on the back window ledge. So I just have like a, a rose plant. I actually bought this just from a supermarket and it just gives the prettiest white little roses. Although it is really sparse and I feel like it's really hard to keep alive. 
It does give like one or two roses at a time, so it makes me happy. Uh, the next one I have actually got off Etsy, and I'll leave the seller link down below if I can. And it's just a Enjoy Pothos plant. So I have it right in the window right now getting direct sunlight. Normally it probably would just want to have indirect light, but just since it was in a box for a day or two in shipping, I figured I'd give it some light. I'll probably take it out of this light later on today. I have my mom's money plants. It needs to be repotted because it's getting pretty big. It's just like a little tree, but these things can get really big if you keep repotting them. And next to it, I have a parsley plant. This I just brought inside for the winter and it's loved the indoor environment. So I constantly have fresh parsley for whatever I'm cooking. The story behind this is it was actually outside when I first planted it and it got like really, really, really bad root rot. And I thought it was just completely dead. It stunk so bad. I repotted it to a more like well draining pot and it's been super happy for the last like two years. So that's my parsley plant. Then I have a pothos. This is one that I propagated and put into soil because it got like some long roots to it. So once it gets the long roots, I put it into soil. This is just dirt in a cup. So I hope you like that. Dirt in a cup. That's my most exotic rare plant. And then right over here, we just have our hibiscus bush inside because we brought it in to like winterize and like hibernate for the winter time. It'll just be these like twiggy branchy uh, stems and no flowers until you bring it back outside once it's warm enough, but it survived the whole winter. So that's very exciting. And then let's go downstairs. I'll show you my grow light and the couple plants that I have under there right now. Okay. So I just have this grow light hung up back here. This is where I put plants that like need some tender love and care because this is like a fluorescent light specifically made for plants. So if they're not getting the right amount of light and they don't know what to do, I'll usually stick them under here or if I'm growing things um, from seed or whatever, propagating them. So right now I just have a few that I'm propagating. This is a nerve plant and I have it inside of a bag. The lighting's gonna look really weird right now because we're under this light, but it's in the plastic bag that's puffed out full of air so it gives it room to grow with humidity. So I sprayed it with the spray bottle and this actually has started to root. You probably can't see it, but there's white little roots growing into the soil. This was just a little cutting and it's already starting to root because this light is so incredible. I have two of them. So the other one's in there and they just need a moist, humid environment and they need to be like slowly eased into like regular environment. And last but not least, I just have another Pylea baby under here just to experiment how this light works for it. It needs a little water, it's looking dry, but yeah, I think that's it. Those were all my house plants as of right now. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. I'll leave any products that I use down below in the description box so you can check that out. If you like this video, definitely remember to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of it, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Press that notification bell down below to be reminded every time I post a new video so you don't miss one. And I'll see you in my next one, bye.